Good evening, everyone out in YouTube world. It's your fellow alopecia princess, Jacqueline Hill Bennett. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm probably yelling right now because for some reason I'm, I'm all hyped. Mad hype. But um, yeah, so something a little different today. <laughs> I wanted to do a video because uh, for two reasons. The first, this is wrong because you can see that big light, horrible. The first reason is because um, I am in about three weeks, construction is going to start on my kitchen. So I finally have the kitchen that I want. And um, I wanted to show you guys a before and after. Um, right now, our kitchen really sucks. And I'm really super excited to finally, after a full year of submitting permits, I'm finally going to be able to have a kitchen that's somewhat decent because right now it like sucks monkey butt let me tell you my kitchen sucks monkey butt look at it so I just came back from taking the kids to the park I work today look at that I don't even have cabinet doors it's really horrible like we've been in this house now for um March made it a year so we've been here for just, just over a year and um in that time, like, ugh, the problems we've had with this kitchen are ginormous. But it's my kitchen. I have to cook here, right? So, anyway, I just came back and took taking the kids to the park. And before I left, I changed the trash. I didn't put a bag in it. But, yeah, so I'm going to cook a meal. And I want to show you guys how I rush a meal, rush a home-cooked meal for my husband and my kids at... 6 30 at night ah it's bad right but i'm gonna make chicken i'm gonna make um some chicken cutlets and i'm gonna throw some chicken wingettes in there and they're absolutely frozen because i put no thought into this so i didn't like wake up in the morning like i'm supposed to and thaw out my meat oh if you're wondering about my hair i know it looks crappy because like i said i did just come back from the park um, but it is my Soho Chic wig, still holding up, and it looks crappy just because I didn't take the time to do it. I just threw it on my head. All right, so what I'm going to do, right, I just want to make a gravy. First, I want to make like a, a gravy with my um, chicken stock, and I'm going to use my um, chicken wingettes for that, and I'm not going to cook this whole pack of wingettes because only two of my kids are here today, so it's just going to be me, my husband two of my kids the other three at my parents house so grandma is feeding them oh, thanks Graham, for my mom that's their grandma so I'm just gonna use like four of these and this is how I'm gonna get the four out because this packet is frozen I'm not gonna throw the rest out I'm just using this so I have this old kitchen and in this old kitchen I don't mind banging on my hard I don't even know what this material is on my sink but I'm gonna bang it and look, I just separated my meat. Ah, look at that. I separated my meat by banging it. So, I just turned my water on to boil. For lunch, I had like this, this I boiled some meat. I boiled some um, celery and mushrooms and carrots and I put it into a soup. I'm trying to lose weight, like, and, you know, I, I know you guys, a lot of you, some of you will probably say, oh, you don't need to lose weight. Well, let me tell you, when you're bald and you want to rock a ball look, I think it looks best if you're really, really trim. Okay, so I don't want any of this anymore. I don't want any of this fat thigh right here, even though I don't mind my thighs. I kind of like having a little bit of thighs. I want to have a more trim stomach. So, yeah, anyway, time's wasting, so let me keep this thing moving. All right, so I have to find a pot. Funny thing about my kitchen, right? So I had this horrible, horrible, horrible leak coming from my bathroom. And I got my bathrooms redone. That I was able to do this year, so I didn't have my bathrooms redone. And the plumbing has, issue has been fixed, but I refuse to use my cabinets, except for this area right here, because we had this horrible flood that leaked down into my cabinets the most disgusting and gruesome brown water. Let me just call it brown water because that's what it was. <laughs> and it happened at, like during the holidays when I was trying to entertain. So, yeah. Anyway, 
So I don't use that. I use this old shelf that I brought from my old house that I actually did have renovated. But, you know, we sold it. We made a little bit of money on it, so I, I don't regret that. All right, so I'm going to use one of these containers. And I'm going to put my raw meat. I'll take this out. Yeah, I don't have the cleanest house, but it's not gross. It didn't cut as much as I wanted. Do it again. Oh, there you go. Separated my wings. So I have one, two, three, four wings in here. I'll just throw one more. My kids like to suck on the bones. And I do too. I like the bones. My husband likes the white meat. I don't care for it that much. But and I learned that if you do it right, it comes up with it. So, you know what? I can't throw the rest. So. Pretty sure we're just having four wings today, and the rest will be these chicken cutlets. So my water is boiled. Um, put my boiled water on it, and I did so a little bit backwards because I am a little bit disorganized. Redone because this is just so whack, but uh, you still gotta live in your kitchen, right? Okay, so I'm just boiling the frozen. I'm gonna boil the frozen wings. Okay, so right now I am going to. First of all, I just want to say I prefer to use my kitchen scissors, but since I let the kids wash the dishes, I don't ever know where my things are. Like, ugh. I make the kids wash the dishes though, because you know what? They don't, and they do a horrible job, I must say. They do a horrible job washing the dishes, but I make them do it anyway, because they will try to use that, oh, I'm not good at washing dishes, so that they won't have to do it. But you know what? I have five kids. I'm not running after five kids to clean their dishes. Do clean your own dishes. That's all. Right? So, anyway. So, I'm making these things nice and small. And, um, see that? I can't hold it like that. But, yeah, you can get the idea, right? Organized, right? Like, this, welcome to my brain. My disorganized brain that matches my brain. This, the videotaping of this YouTube video, it matches my brain. Okay, so I have some old peppers that I used two days ago to make something. I don't even remember what because my mind does not always remember stuff. But it's still good. Give it a rinse. Um, these green onions, I'm using them for the chicken cutlets and I'll put them on like basically at the end. Um, I'm going to slice up these peppers, this pepper, and use that also towards the end, closer, like not so much at the end though. And I'll have some green pepper, which I love, I love the flavor of the green pepper. Really distinct different flavors. In the, between the red and the red, if you ask me. But right now I need to hurry up and get that onion cut from my gravy, which is almost ready. Well, that's a lie, it's not really almost ready, but whatever. So if you wash off the onion and you get rid of that top skin, then you won't be crying while you eat the onion. This this heavy skin, this very top one, that's where that layer of gaseous skin is that makes you cry. So once you get rid of this part, um, 
you won't be crying anymore. So yeah. All right. So, and guys, don't make fun of me. All right. This is life. This is. I don't. I don't know how you guys cook in your fancy kitchen, but this is how things get done in my real world. But guess what? They get done. And the reason why I want to say that is because I think we talked about this before that you know we spend too much time on our hair. Like dead serious. I feel like. A lot of us spend so much time on our hair that we're not even like taking care of our women responsibilities like the cooking and you know instead we're ordering out all the time and let me tell you men love a home cooked meal they just love it don't ask me why because in truth I want to eat out every night <laughs> maybe because I'm the one doing all the cooking but men really 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 love a home-cooked meal and they just feel so special when somebody makes them a meal so you know what all right I'll make you a meal silly yeah, I'll make it to, and I'll even make you breakfast in bed I don't care because my husband he's nice to me so I'll be nice and give him what he wants right so but you know I work I have five kids and I want to enjoy my life so I can't spend all my can you guys see my food I can't spend all my time cooking you see that you can't even see it look at that but anyway that's what it looks like right now I'm gonna put one stalk of red pepper in there one cut of it not a stalk that's wrong and then I'm gonna pour a little bit hot butter on it and just a little bit and then we'll close it back so it hurry up. Now it's already thawing. And the reason why I'm using the wings for the stock and not the, the um, cutlets is because the gravy gets its flavor from the bone marrow, which is gross. Like, but hey, I'm a meat eater, so it doesn't gross me out that much. Anyways, all right, so now I'm going to make my rice. And I love jasmine rice. Okay, so I mix all those ingredients together. I have not yet put on my, um, I like to use some Lari's seasoning. I didn't put that on yet. Okay, so she's all Lari'd up. All right, so this is how my raw meat looks with the singed ends from the microwave. But that's okay, because my food is gonna come out good anyway, right? Okay, so it's all seasoned up. I'm gonna lay it into my already hot pan. You know it's hot because it does that, right? And like I said, my pans are old, but what as? When I get my new kitchen, I'll get some new pots. And not until then. Okay, go. So, here, come get a picture of the food. All right, so I didn't get a chance to get the rice and everything. Hey, one second, baby. All right, so I, I didn't have the um, browning, so I ended up putting ketchup in it to give it some color. So Milan is going to be the guinea pig. Are you looking at the uh, rice? This is how the rice comes out 20 minutes as instructed. And I like my rice a little sticky, so it comes out that way. And Milan does not eat a lot, so you're gonna eat some of the spinach, right, Mimi? Like a good girl? Right? Take a good picture of it. Like, what are you videoing right now? Your arm. <laughs> Don't video my arm. What are you doing? Get the whole plate. Are you gonna eat corn? Yeah. Just eat the chicken and rice. Oh, she just wants a little chicken. All right. If you want more chicken, you can come back and get it. All right. All right here you go. Enjoy. Anyway, I happened to finish dinner right as hubby walked through the door so he gets the fresh dinner off the fire. <laughs> okay, so that's a one hour Thursday night dinner for Carl. Say hi, baby. <laughs> Well, baby, I guess the meal was good, right? It was good. Because <laughs> it's finished. Miserable today, huh? Huh? Miserable tonight, huh? 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Why am I being videotaped? Huh? Why am I being videotaped? Oh no! Hi.